Hello friends, I am Dr. Sandhya. I will be dealing with anesthesia topic in the platform of concept. So today's topic will be general anesthesia. We will see how we conduct general anesthesia in a patient in every day. So before entering to the real topic, let us see how anesthesia was introduced, how the uh, subspeciality of the anesthesia came into existence. Okay. Initially in the uh, era of pre-ether. So, what is pre-ether? Why I said pre-ether? Okay. So, ether was introduced or demonstrated by Dr. W. G. T. G. Morton in 1846. On October 16th, he did the first public demonstration at Massachusetts, Boston. So, using the either first surgery was performed and the patient did not feel any pain. So, this was the cornerstone of anesthesia to come into existence. Okay. So, whatever happened before this day, October 16th is uh, regarded as the pre either period and whatever happened after this is considered as the post ether period. Okay. So, before the ether this ether was uh, discovered or it was it was discovered before only but uh, w t g morton demonstrated and became um, like uh, popular after that so before that in the pre ether day or pre ether era how we used to anesthetize the patient okay they were using barbaric techniques like they used to just blow or uh, hit on patient's head and make them unconscious. Sometimes they used to compress the carotid artery and make the patient unconscious. Okay. Then slowly they started giving the patient lot of alcohol and make them unconscious. And then slowly, slowly uh, they were using the plant extracts which has this uh, property to um, make hypnosis. So that was introduced. And then in China they started using opium. Okay, opium as a potion and they started using it. Then ether was introduced. Before that, in 1799, Sir Humphrey Davy introduced nitrous oxide. Okay, this is important, and he found out that it, it can be used for pain relief. Then after that, in uh, 1844, Horace Wells used nitrous oxide for tooth extraction, painless tooth extraction. Okay. Then 1846, our ether demonstration was done. Okay. After that what happened? Oliver Holmes Wells. You should remember this name Holly Oliver Holmes Wells introduced the term anesthesia. Okay. So he is the one who introduced the name anesthesia. So this is important question in neat. These all are important, okay. These all are important question which is like potent question in need and asked many times. Do you remember that? So, where did the term anesthesia comes came from? It came from anesthos, okay. Anesthos, which is a Greek terminology, which means lack of sensation. Okay. So, after that what happened? Term was introduced. Then in 1847, chloroform was introduced by Young Simpson. Okay. Then Carl Kohler 
in 1884 he found out that cocaine c cocaine k for k or c how it brown c co co for color he found out cocaine can be used as a topical anesthesia he used it in the eyes okay then in 1885 first spinal anesthesia was done by dr corning he in 1901 he gave first epidural anesthesia anesthesia history is very interesting but these are the things which you should remember for exam point of view okay so in uh, first uh, sir humphrey davy at least year it's not important but chronologically i just told so humphrey davy nitrous oxide for pain relief he understood that it has a property then horas wells in uh, he did the first tooth extraction which was painless but the thing what he did like he didn't do a public demonstration or he didn't uh, do a publication after that w w t g morton 1846 this year and the date you should remember october 16 which is uh, still we uh, celebrate it as a world anesthesia day so on that day w t w t g morton he did first demonstration of ether okay the painless surgery was done then horal Uh, Oliver uh, Wells anesthesia term, then chloroform by uh, Simpson, collar, cocaine, and uh, first uh, the spinal anesthesia by Corning and epidural also was by same person, Dr. Corning. So this was an uh, history. So let's see what is anesthesia. Okay, so we know what is anesthesia. It's a uh, we create by giving some drug, we create a lack of sensation. We create, we take out pain. are uh, and all the other sensation from the patient so anesthesia can be divided into two type mainly into two type okay anesthesia can be divided into two type one is general anesthesia and the other one is regional anesthesia okay how these two differs okay so you can see the triad no of uh, one is first one is unconsciousness second one is a reflexia or muscle relaxation and the third one is analgesia okay so all the three points should be there in general anesthesia but in case of regional anesthesia example spinal epidural or any perif peripheral nerve block what is the difference can anyone tell me yeah the patient won't be in a loss of consciousness stage patient